When it comes to accessing another user's folder who's connected to the same Exchange server, as you can see down below on the status bar, I'm connected, and you get denied access, I'm going to show you how you can ask for permission to access their folder through email, as well as delegating folder access to certain individuals outside of the default access, like to a higher permission level when it comes to viewing your calendar. So instead of just seeing the block time, they'll be able to see the subject, location, and the details. So to find the current setup and who has access to your calendar, you can do it one of a couple of ways. One way is to select the calendar, then come up here on the Home tab to the Share group, and click on Calendar Permissions. That's one way, or let me close out, you can right-click on it, go down to Share, and there you go, Calendar Permissions. Click on it, and it opens up the same window. And you can see the two names that I have by default is anonymous. I'm glad they don't have any permissions because I don't want somebody anonymously in my calendar and hacking it. And then you got the default, so anybody who's connected to the same Exchange server will be able to see if I'm free or busy, and that's it. They don't get the subject, location, or the details. They can't double-click to open it up. Now, if I want to have carry, but just carry only, to have a higher permission level, I want to be able to add her so she's not a default user who's limited to the free busy time. So as you can see down below, we got the permission levels. As we talked about in an earlier training video, it's in a hierarchical structure, so at the very bottom end, you get no permission, but as you start to climb, you can see that they're free or busy to get more details, to start editing, to be able to do everything that the owner does. So let me go ahead and click on Add, Find Carry, double click, and you can add as many as you want, and then click OK. And after you added them, then you can, well, the default permission level is going to be free busy, so you don't have to hurry and panic and go, oh, they're made owner, let me go ahead and change them. No, it's going to be at the lower end, well, not completely at the lowest end, which would be none, but they get the free busy. So you can just come down here with them selected, or her in this case, click on the drop down arrow, and let's do Reviewer. And she's got the full details when it comes to reading. Writing, she can't. She can't delete anything. And then the other, well, for these first two, you can read more about it in my instructor notes. The last one, Folder Visible, this option will automatically be selected if you're a contributor or above. So let me click on the drop down arrow, Contributor or Above. And what it does is it allows other individuals to open an entire calendar and Outlook to see the details of the meeting. And it's required in order to view the calendar. So it's checked, and then we can go ahead and click OK. And Carrie now has reviewer access, which is a few permission levels above the base of Free Busy. Now, she doesn't know unless I call her up or I text her or send her an email, which brings up another good point. You can hit two birds with one stone if you want to share it at that level. At the same time you're sharing it, it automatically sends out an email, and that's up here in the share group, Share Calendar. So before I do that, let me go ahead and click on Calendar Permissions and Remove her. So when I share it again, it's not like, hey, she's already in here. So select it, click Remove, click OK, and then come back up here and click on Share Calendar, and it opens up. It allows me to enter her email address, which will do two things. Well, first of all, when I click Send, it'll send her an email, but also, secondly, it allows me to set the permissions. So let's go from top to bottom here. So first of all, let's type in her email address, and you can add as many people as you want, of course. There's the semicolon, the delimiter that will separate all the other email addresses. And then the subject, sharing invitation, Kurt Kershaw, he wants to share his calendar. You can see down below, allow recipient to view your calendar. At what level? Well, availability only is the free busy. The limited details is including the subject, so let me select that, and you can see includes availability and subject. And then if you want full details, which is the reviewer level, and I'll show you that in just a minute, that's the highest level you can go. You can't go any higher than that, where they can actually create appointments for you, or edit, or delete them. So if you want to be able to quickly do this, and then go back in and update it, and give her a higher permission level, like maybe editor, or even owner, that's fine. But again, it hits two birds with one stone, and you can actually include a third stone, which you can request permission to view her calendar by checking that. And then it updates it here, and it says sharing request calendar. It's not just me sharing it, but it's sharing from both sides. So all I have to do is go ahead and click send. And are you sure you want full details? Of course I do. And then it's doing those two things. It's sending her an email while at the same time opening up the permissions for her. So if you come back up here and click on Calendar Permissions, there she is, and she's the reviewer, as we talked about. Full details, but cannot delete or write to my calendar. Okay, let's go ahead and click OK, and go to the Inbox. 
to wait for her reply. And there we go. Allowed sharing request. Sweet. Let's go ahead and just for the calendar, double click to open it up. Carrie has allowed you to view his or her calendar. Click the open button above. All right, come up here. There it is. Open this calendar. Click on it. And there we go. She's over to the right. It updates. Sweet. Oh, she gave me full access to view, I think. Let's take a look. -y. Okay, I can see the subject. So, anything beyond the subject? Any details? I could double click. Yes, I can read the notes as well. So, full access. She gave me the reviewer. And I can come up here and see if the tags are high or low importance. And if I try to change it and then click save, well, your changes have been denied because you don't have permission to modify some or all the items in this folder. However, you can save a copy of this item in the default folder for the item. No, I won't do that. If I want to be able to, let me not save it, edit or write to those appointments that I have to email or call her and saying, hey, can you please go ahead and update it? In which case, if she does, she can do it at any time. And I wouldn't know unless I tried to change it right now, and she did it just recently, that is, without emailing me or calling me first. Now, that email is still active, so she can, at any time, open up that email and deny me access. And if she does, she can edit the response before sending it. She could send the response without typing in any text, without adding an excuse why she denied it. Or she can just deny not send a thing, in which case, if I'm still in it, when the exchange updates, all of a sudden I'll just go blank on me. And I'll be like, oh, you must be down. Or I could email her and saying, hey, what's the deal? What gives? I can't see your calendar anymore. So let me go ahead and have her do that. Deny me through that same email. I get the email. It says right there, if I hover over it, denied. Sharing request. Oh, nuts. So if I click to open it up to confirm it, access denied. She even put a frowny face in there. Oh, in any case, well, it was nice to at least for her to write a note. I can delete that. And then just wait for like 10, 15 seconds. This thing will start updating and I won't be able to see anything in her calendar. Even though the default allows me to see free busy, your settings will trump that default user. Well, something's wrong with the Exchange server. It's not updating as fast as I'd like it to, so I'm just going to go ahead and close out of Outlook completely and reconnect. And there we go. I'm back to the default user. Ugh, because you can see it just says now busy and tentative, and I can't double-click to open it up. In which case, I can ask Carrie for permissions when I click yes. Then we get that same email that I just told you about. And it also checks allow recipient to view your calendar as well, in which case you can uncheck it if you just want to view theirs and not let them have access or viewership to yours. Now let's go ahead and let me close out of her calendar here. In fact, I'm just right click on shared calendar and say delete the group. Yes. And let's have her share her contacts. So let me go ahead and have her send me a share contact email. And let's go to our contacts folder so I can quickly explain this. So you can right click on your contacts, go down to share. Oh, there's, okay, she's sharing. In any case, you can go to folder permissions and it opens up the window by default. And nobody gets access to your contacts. It's only on the calendar. That's however the IT person wants to set it up. Maybe by default, they'll give everybody a permission level to it. We'll cover that in just a minute. Let me close out. And then on the home tab to the share group, you can open up shared contacts and click a name who you want to share it to and carry and click OK and then click OK. I'm not going to do that. Let me backtrack just a little bit because I want to take care of that email that she just sent sharing request people double click. Carrie has requested permission to view your contacts folder. Allow or deny permissions by clicking the buttons above. This person has also invited you to view his or her contacts folder. So. This is perpetual. As long as I got this email, I can respond for her to view my calendar or deny it. And then 10 weeks from now, I can come back. And if I chose deny, I could allow. If I allow, I can choose deny. But in any case, I get total access to her contacts folder. Click on it. And I can see down below, it says Carrie Heffernan. Let me select it. There it goes. It didn't bring this up in front of me. I had to look down below and it says Carrie Heffernan's. And that's her contacts. There's mine. There's hers. Aw, oh, she only has two, Mr. Bean and Barty Fife. Well, we better drum up more business because, well, that could be your personal contacts. Who knows? But uh, remember, when she's sharing her contacts or tasks or calendars, she can mark the others as private. Let me go ahead and have her, as in this example, select her contact and remove private from it. 
Oh, there we go. Took about 10 seconds, but I sped up the time here. So she has one more. Great. But she could have more. Maybe she didn't want me to see all her private contacts. So I can double click to open it up. Oh, I'm in the people view. That's what she has. The people version shows basic information and is more apt to connect to social networks like Facebook. So you can impart and view limited fields and connections there as opposed to the business card. Go and select business card because I get more details. Double click. And when I open it up, up on the title bar it says read only. So she's only given me the view permission. And I can't come down here in the notes field and type. Oh, I can't type things. But watch what happens when I click save. It says, ah, oh, you can't do it. You don't have permissions, but you can save a copy of this item in the default folder. No, I'm not going to do that. So I'd have to have her change those permissions. I could email her, but let me go ahead and have her change those permissions right now to give me, let's do the editor permission level. So if I double click to open it up, you can see up on the title bar, read has been removed. So if I come down below and I see it's got Warner's, and I go ahead and save and close it, it updates it there. Sweet. And remember, we still have that email where she had the sharing request, people. Let's double click to open it up. So I got access to her calendar. Now it's my turn. And I can do this at any time, even tomorrow, next week. But she may be curious, like, hey, did you get my email? So let me go ahead and say allow. And then it says, are you sure you want to do this? It's read only, reviewer permission level. Yes. And then it shares it. And it says your contacts folder has been shared with Carrie. Carrie has also granted you access to the contacts folder. Click the open calendar button. Okay, great. Click OK. And let me go ahead and close out. And then I can go back to my contacts folder. And well, there's her contacts I have access to. But if I go to my contacts here and I right click on it, and I want to update that permission level from reviewer that Carrie has, or maybe downgrade it to the default. Let's go ahead and go to folder permissions. There we go. And there's reviewer. And so if I want her to write, let's see, author allows her to create and edit her own. But if I want to upgrade to editor, she can create items and edit everything, mon. And so I can go ahead and click OK. And now she gets a higher permission level. And then if I go back to my inbox and I'm like, no, 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 let me double click to open it up and say deny. I can edit the response before sending, type in a little sweet note saying, I don't want to share, or send the response now. And away it goes, denied sharing. So what happened back here in the contacts folder when I right click on my contacts? Now, she's still sharing. It just means from my end, she, when I go down to share, to folder permissions, she's been wiped clean. So nobody has access to my contacts. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.